In VA17, we've made big improvements to the design of concrete plates by providing you with more flexibility with regards to rebar placement, better control over the rebar orientation within the slab, clarifying minimum steel code checks, and removing the restriction that plate local X axes align. The design checks are now more accurate and optimizing the slab reinforcement is easier than ever. Let's take a closer look at a few of these features. Slab reinforcement can be set to either a single or double mat by changing the bar configuration parameter. If using a single mat, you can control the depth of the reinforcement by setting the bottom cover value. When using a double mat, the bottom bars are controlled with the bottom cover and the top bars are controlled with the top cover. The orientation or direction of the slab reinforcement can be defined by setting the direction of X bars parameter to either a global direction aligning with one of the global axes or to a custom direction of your choice. Note that the rebar direction vector must be parallel to the slab and the Y bars are always oriented 90 degrees to the X bars. You can also define which bars are considered the top bars by changing the RX bars top layer parameter. The minimum steel can be checked according to ACI limits for shrinkage and temperature, ACI limits for walls, a user defined steel ratio or none by changing the min steel ratio parameter. Additionally, you can decide if you want to check minimum flexural steel and minimum bar spacing limits per ACI. To get you the best design possible, we've provided the ability to optimize slab reinforcement based on the required area of steel necessary to meet flexural demands, as well as minimum steel and maximum steel limits as discussed previously. Both the X and Y directions of each bar mat can be optimized individually by setting a max and min rebar size and spacing, and setting a value to increment the spacing by. All of these features are meant to improve your ability to work with and customize your design of concrete plate elements within your model. We think this is a huge improvement and hope you do too. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.